Mm. All right, so let us continue what we're saying. And this is a kind of inspired by a commentary on the recent um the recent uh hurricane that's called Irene connected with the recent earthquake. And we see those as um seemingly minor but very important signs of the times that are connected with some of the speculation of um, the whole end of the world and the so-called new world order, continuing with Matthew chapter chapter 24, because where we were in the other part of this, we was talking about where it says, um, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood. Now, remember the Almighty said that when he put the rainbow, the rainbow in the sky, he said that the rainbow was a sign that he would not destroy all of the earth again with a flood. But it's important for us to, and many other um, interpreters of Scripture has have also made this, have come to this conclusion that he said that he would not destroy the entire earth to say all of the earth, but this does not mean that he would not use floods. You know what I'm saying? And many have come to the understanding that he would use floods. The Almighty would use floods in certain places. You know what I'm saying? Against his um, temporal, you know what I'm saying? And we can even say spiritual enemies. You know what I'm saying? His temp, his temporal enemies. So. We're saying that in these floods and where these floods are occurring. Now, this is not to talk about, well, why did that boy that the tree fell on, you understand, and though his mother survived and he didn't, it's not to say, oh, he must have been a wicked boy or something like that. We, we don't have the knowledge to judge that particularly. But concerning...